Hello, my name is Max and I'm a product manager in the R&D department at Biognosis. In this video, I will show you how to use the Spectronaut command line mode. With the Spectronaut command line mode, you can run Spectronaut automatically from scripts in your proteomics workflows without human interaction. This can save a lot of hands-on time and prevents user error. In example, you could write a script that automatically analyzes datasets as soon as they have been acquired. We use the Spectronaut command line extensively for internal testing. I'm sure it will be very useful for many of you as well. Now let's take a look at the command line interface. Like most software run from command line, the general setup is like this. You go to the command line and enter the path to the executable followed by some arguments. There's extensive documentation in the manual on which arguments are available and how to use them, and I cannot go into too much detail here. So please check out the command line section of the manual for more information. For instance, this command here will use Spectronaut from this path here to run an analysis under the name that's specified by the n argument here using this library file as specified with the a argument. All the output files will be put into this folder that is specified with the o argument and these mass spec data files will be analyzed as specified by the R argument. Once you run a command, information on the progress will be shown in a new command line window, including error messages. Instead of specifying individual files with dash R, we can tell Spectronaut to analyze all supported files in a folder with dash D. So let's do that. This is recommended if you have a lot of files. And in fact, you have to use dash D sometimes because there's a character limit in the Windows command line. And listing all files individually might exceed that limit. Now, let's take a look at the results from these runs. They show up as subfolders in the folder that we selected with the dash O argument. So it is no problem to use the same output folder argument for multiple analyses. By default, these folders contain some plots, as well as the settings that were used for this analysis. And perhaps most importantly, there is an analysis report file, in this case of the BGS factory report variety. The analysis settings, as well as your selection of output files, are specified in a settings file. If you don't provide a settings file in the command line, the default settings for Spectronaut will be used. To generate a customized settings file, you have to export your settings from the settings perspective in Spectronaut. So let's do that now. In addition to the other settings, which are the same as for a regular Spectronaut analysis, the command line mode uses the pipeline mode settings. If you want to generate an SNE file for your job in command line mode, make sure you select this option here. This allows you to browse your results in Spectronaut or change post-analysis settings later. You can also specify which kinds of reports you would like to generate for your job and define other output options here. Now let's export these settings. You can tell Spectronaut to use a specific settings file with the S argument like this. So in our case, that will make sure that an SNE file will be generated.
You can use command line mode to run a direct DI analysis by adding direct as the first argument and providing the path to a protein database in BGS FASTA format. You can export protein databases as BGS FASTA files from the database's perspective in SpectreLab. Also, note that DirectDIA will not work with HTRMS files, so for this workflow, we use the vendor format here instead. Now, these commands can get quite long and hard to read. Here's a way to make things easier. As you can see, there's only one argument here called command, and it contains the path to a text file. In that text file, we find a lot of different arguments, along with some comments explaining them. Using an arguments text file can clean up your script quite a bit and make it easier to troubleshoot later. And finally, you can even use the command line to generate libraries. Here, the argument k specifies the output location of the library. This is all I wanted to show you today. The Spectronaut command line enables you to run analyses without interacting with the graphical user interface of Spectronaut, so you can get creative and run Spectronaut as part of your own analysis scripts. Take a look at the Spectronaut manual for more information about the command line mode. We will be back next week with another video on this channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.